what is a human rights? What is a democracy? Enough food for the big country, enough education, enough jobs. That's the main task of the Chinese government. China really changed a lot. China is a country with a big population. We have 1.3 billion people. It's not easy for the Chinese government to raise, to give the food, to give the education, to give the clothing, to give jobs to those 1.3 billion people. I think uh, those people put up these questions when the prime, the prime minister is leading China, uh, when they put up, put up these questions. I think those uh, people, those friends, uh, are less understanding about China. Probably most of them have never been to China, or most of them has just been there once or twice, or never been to China, most of them say that. Because if you don't know the country, because like myself, before I came to Canada, I, I, I really feel myself like a stranger. Of course. Because I know the color is different, the food is different, the language is different. But when you arrive in this country, you find that the people are very friendly. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they treat you in a French way. I think, um, and because they've never been to China unless reading some uh, very objective articles about China, gradually and gradually those people have the bad image about China. This is the figure. So we have the freedom, we have the democracy. I, I do think uh, it is some, sometimes uh, when during the Cultural Revolution, probably you could say that you don't have the freedom to mm -hmm. say. But now people can criticize even our leaders, you know, say, I don't like him. Mm -hmm. But in the Cultural Revolution, if you say this, yeah. it's a big problem, yeah. right? But now people can say that. Yes. Yeah. Tibetan issues or some other issues that uh, are created, not by the Chinese people, it is created before created by the British Empire, British imperialists, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, they have something they want to do that in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. but after that, now 1950s, this problem is created by the big power, yep. your good neighbor, <laughs> right. you know. Right. Looking back over the, the, uh, over the last 100 years, China was always invaded by foreign powers. We never sent any soldier. We never invaded any other country. Just for a short period. We, no, never. We are peace-loving countries. We just want to develop ourselves. We are a big country. We are a big consuming country. So that's why we need natural resources. You know, we, it's, it's, a, it's a legal, it's a justice, it's an equal trade. So I wise, um, my door is open to the Chinese friends. So any, anyone want to go to China, please, please go. <laughs> and after coming back, after coming back, they will understand China much, much better. This is, now, this is a, uh, the world, the earth is a small village. We have internets, we have airplanes, we have all the ways that uh, it's a small village. People have to work closer. You know, uh, China, I must say that, is a big country, we are developing in this way, uh, but we want to keep the stability of the society. If something happened like Libya, like Egypt, or like Bangkok, like Ukraine, that would be greatly set back. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. Chinese economy will be totally collapsed. So we don't want those to happen. If China has problems, you know, if we, if we have a coat, a bad coat, mm. the world will have a running nose.